I want to start with technology because as we just talked about, we have seen some big blow ups this week in the tech industry that have taken down the NASDAQ to some extent. Um, and at least one of them is in your portfolio. Facebook's in your portfolio. Amazon is too, a little more happily for you. Uh, what do you make of the action that we have seen and that there has been some bleed through to the rest of the market, but it hasn't really taken everything down? Well, actually, I'm pretty happy about Facebook's decline as well. Um, when the stock got hit, we had it in the portfolio, bought it in the IPO, sold it, bought it back. But it wasn't a really big position. And then when it got hit in the spring, when Mark Zuckerberg was hauled before Congress, it, it fell down from what, roughly a 190 down to about 150. And we added the position pretty significantly there. Then it went up 45%. And now it's back down 20%. So it's, it's, it's above where we were. But we took the, the yesterday and today to top it off a little bit. So mm. it's only 17 times next year's earnings. And and, and it trades at about four multiple points on enterprise value EBITDA below Coca-Cola, which is going to have a hard time growing 6%. Yeah. And Facebook, on what we think are conservative numbers, even if those numbers are correct, margins down, growth rates down, they're, they're doing that deliberately, by the way. Um, they're still going to grow 20 25% a year. So, so the basic gist is just that it's cheap and that regardless of whether maybe growth is plateauing a little bit or it got to spend more money on moderation, you're getting a deal. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. It was interesting. Mark Zuckerberg was interviewed. I heard him interviewed a few weeks ago, and the, the moderator, the interviewer said, you know, you, you have an objective every year, a, a project, and last year it was like learning Mandarin a couple of years ago. What is it this year? And he said, to fix Facebook. And I thought, you know, if we'd known what was coming, that was probably part of what he had in mind, which is there's been a lot of issues and they've been struggling to keep up with, with things. So they're going to spend, you know, another billion dollars plus on, on security and safety. And I think that's a good thing. And that repair effort may create more opportunities as well. Do you think it's easier or harder to find value as the bull market ages? I mean, we're now past the nine year mark. Does that make it easier, harder? Uh, it, it all depends. It, it, it's harder typically because as the bull market ages, people have been had a long time to pick things over. They've got things sorted out. So the stuff which is obviously good and growing usually trades at a pretty expensive multiple. This market's been a little bit different because for the first several years, it was a flight to safety. It was a fear about fear of risk, fear of volatility. Mm -hmm. And so the, the bond surrogates like utilities and consumer staples got way overpriced. Those have come back in yet, but we don't think they're still attractive. And then other areas that, you know, there are quite attractive. Financials, I think, are still good. I think airlines are really good. I think home builders are really good. And selected tech. I mean, Amazon's our biggest position. But Amazon's got a huge runway ahead of it and, and a lot of growth in the future.